Before starting this or any other workout or diet regimen, you should always consult your physician. Your personal health and safety is our biggest concern. I start my leg workout with leg extensions. This is a terrific exercise. I'm not using heavy weights. This is just my style. It allows me to focus. Boy, this is a squeaky one, huh? And this is another exercise where I can extend completely and my legs will flex. Now, the key to this exercise is to keep your feet relaxed. See, I can move my feet at any point in this exercise instead of flexing them like this. It's really gonna take tension away from my thighs and my quadriceps and put them more on my ankles. My feet are totally relaxed, they're dangling, and if you were to hit them, they would just sway back and forth. That's the key to this exercise. <sighs> Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. <sighs> Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Terrific exercise. You can't do too many repetitions, that's for certain. Find a weight that is very comfortable, extend completely, let the weights come down. Don't let the stack touch or rest. Keep it just about where it's about to touch and then let the weights come right back up. This is instinctive. Feet totally relaxed, <sighs> legs getting a full extension, flexing at the top, this is easy to flex at the top. In fact, when I was saying flex at the contraction, if you do this and extend your legs as far out as you can, you'll know exactly what I mean. No mystery here. It's work. Lots and lots of work. You can do it too. Okay, these are leg presses. I'm going to put my feet about shoulder width apart, my toes pointed slightly outward. What's really interesting about the leg press is that you can actually control what part of your leg you want it to work. If your feet are wider apart and your toes are pointed outward, the weight will travel this way and work the outside of your thighs. If your feet are closer together, the weight will travel more directly and work the inside of your thighs and this part of your, this part of your quadricep. I like to go somewhere in between. As a matter of fact, you can put your feet anywhere you like. and In fact, you can switch them between different sets. But I'm going to put my feet about shoulder width apart. I'm going to release the weights so they come down. I'm going to keep my hands here. I always do, regardless how much weight I have on, sort of to brace myself. I'm not really going to push, push my thighs, but I'm actually going to just support my thighs. I'm going to let the weight come down nice and slowly until my feet make about a right angle. Then I'm going to exhale and move the weight up. I'm trying to distribute all of the weight into my heels, keeping my toes totally relaxed. I can move my toes actually at any point in this movement. You'll find that when I push the weights up, my legs are not completely extended. I'll do one just to show you what that looks like. You don't want that to happen. Your knees stay bent, so the tension remains on your quadriceps. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I always move the weights at this speed. Never let them drop. Move them down. Move them up. If you want to pause anywhere, pause on the way up. I'll show you what I mean. You can stop here, 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 here. It's a terrific sensation to actually hold the weights with your thighs up there. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. To have a balanced physique, you actually have to do some heavier movements like this for your legs. I mean, you've seen folks who all they do is their biceps, shoulders, chest, and they look like light bulbs. I was making a joke that they should take all of the 
upper body equipment out of the gyms throughout the country for six months, let everybody's legs catch up, and then we'll let the boys all have their fun again. The legs are very important. Your upper body cannot grow. It cannot grow, it can't progress if the legs are neglected. It's all about balance. If your legs aren't strong, there's no way it can support a strong upper body. Okay, this exercise is for hamstrings. Most sophisticated gyms have it. It's a seated hamstring curl. And once you position yourself in the machine, you can really just kind of go with the flow. There are some real subtleties though that'll really make this exercise very effective. One is to have the brace part of the machine closer toward your body, not directly on your knee. That'll protect your knees. And the second part is to keep your feet very relaxed. I can move my feet at any point in this exercise as compared to this, where I'm gonna be taking the tension away from my hamstrings and putting it on my inner thigh. If I keep my feet relaxed, I'll catch it just where I want it, right in the hamstring. Exhaling as I contract, inhaling on the way up. Nice and fluid. <laughs> 